Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today we are using the Love Trust at Fairy Dust from Tarte. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful the packaging is. I mean, uh, this one grabbed me, hooked me like a fish. So really loved it. Love the pink packaging. Kind of a rose gold, but a lot more pink in it. And then when you open this beauty, then you, you've you got a really large mirror, and look at these colors. They're just absolutely stunning. So today I used more of the brown tones throughout here, and then tomorrow I plan on, or later, maybe tomorrow, maybe not, using a lot more of the pink. So you're going to get to see two different looks with this palette. But I absolutely love, love, love this palette. The packaging is stunning. I just can't get over what a great job that Tarte has done. So absolutely love, love, trust, and fairy dust. And so, yeah, if you guys want to see how I created this eye look using this beautiful palette, or I should say look number one using this beautiful palette. You're in the right spot, so stay tuned. So this morning we're going to use this Tarte. It's Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust. Absolutely beautiful packaging. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. And then you open it up and oh my goodness. So I saw all these colors and I know they lean more towards the pink world and that's not necessarily my thing, but ooh lordy. So I think I'm gonna try to do two different looks with this palette. And yeah, I'm just, it's so pretty. It's just so pretty. Okay, I'm going to start with this one here called Frolic. The names are cute. And you do want to tap your brush because it does have, does have some fallout. So this color Frolic makes a nice transition color. Some of these colors are just so stunning. It's hard to, it's hard to say, okay, what do I want to do next? We're going to take this color Gossamer, and that's going to be up underneath the brow bone. So I hope everyone, which this is way past the 4th of July, by the time everyone saw or sees this, I don't even know if I want to talk about the 4th of July at this point, but I hope everyone had a wonderful time uh, for the 4th that are stateside, and for those that are not, um, who's had some great vacations or done some fun things? I'm dying to know. <clears throat> I may need some fun things in my life. Okay, now we're going to pick the color Wish. I have zero vacation plan this year, but... I have been still traveling once a month to go see and take care of my grandmother's needs. I do get to stay with my in-laws when I do that and they are absolutely hilarious. So even though I don't have any vacation planned, I am just having a great time hanging out with my in-laws. they're nuts and when I say nuts I mean nuts in a good way of course <laughs> but yeah I'm dying to hear who's got what vacation or who's taken what vacation that's just been absolutely amazing okay this color wish is going on pretty but I'm taking time to kind of build it up so that because it goes on I don't want to say patchy but as dark as it is in the pan, it, it doesn't go on that dark, which I guess is good. That gives you an opportunity to build it up and then blend it out. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with the color Frolic and kind of diffuse the edges there. So I, my husband and I went this weekend and went shooting at the range. He bought me a gun about a year ago. 
and we just hadn't had a chance to use it since last year we were moving, or I moved twice, three times, and um, then he came later. So anyways, we just had a good time trying a new gun, so that was fun. I didn't do too bad considering I didn't have my glasses on. And he didn't do too bad considering he didn't have his glasses on and we were laughing about that going okay we're blind and we're still doing pretty dang good so yeah we were both proud of ourselves for being blind and still being able to shoot the target well <laughs> I will say I do feel safer here in Dallas than I did in Atlanta. Like going downtown in Atlanta, depending on when you go, it just, you know, I don't know. Sometimes it just didn't feel safe since I've been in Dallas. I really feel pretty good and it doesn't matter where what time of day like I can be downtown and at night and it's not that you don't keep your you don't you're not always aware of all your surroundings because you need to be no matter where you're at but it just it just has a different vibe and so I've really kind of enjoyed Dallas a lot for that reason. It's not that it doesn't have crime. It does. But like I said, no matter where I'm at in town at any hour, I still feel pretty safe. So that's been a really kind of big surprise to me since I moved here because, I don't know, you just expect big cities to not, you know, to not always just feel good no matter wherever you're at so anyhow I don't know that I'm making any sense I'll just shut up but if you guys kind of understand what I'm saying comment below which you guys have probably been in part of my YouTube chat some of you guys have been part of my YouTube channel long enough to know that sometimes I just ramble but you still somewhat get me okay so today I'm going to use I think tomorrow I'm going to use the pinks with the purplish colors yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Today I'm going to use the color Magic and the color Twinkle. And so we're going to grab us some Magic. And Magic we will have... Ooh. Kind of over the lid. The third of the lid. And I will say this is going on prettier than what it is in the pan. And that's always a nice surprise, right? Yeah, this color magic is pretty. And the pan smells pretty good. Alright, then we're going to pick, pick up the color twinkle here. And that's going to go on the inner, inner bit of my cut crease. I'm going to pick back up the brush and pick up the color wish again. And I am kind of dabbing that... over the color magic so we can blend that pretty good since i'm dabbing this in i really didn't tap my brush because i'm just kind of pressing it into the skin now i am going to pick up um, a concealer and kind of clean up the edges here to the maybelline master precise ink metallic liquid light eyeliner and this is in cosmic purple let's try that Worst case, we can always cover it with the black, right? Okay, so that kind of brightened up the eye, which is fun. So now we're going to go ahead and go in with some mascara, and I'll probably do something with this crazy hair since it's I let it dry overnight so it's kind of you know a little frizzy on its own I may just take my curling iron that makes it look like I permed my hair and we'll do that since yeah that's the look that it 
it dried to that look. So we'll just keep it going. I'll be back in a second. I want to thank you very much for joining me today using the Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust palette. So this has been look number one. Really hope you enjoyed it. Again, I can't get over this beautiful packaging. The, the product inside is absolutely stunning. The mirror is huge. But again, let's go back to this beautiful package. I mean, the colors are just gorgeous. They they blend well. They just look phenomenal together. So anyways, I hope you really enjoyed this. And I love Tarte products. They really do a great job. High quality. Love, love, love. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.